Kimberly Walston and welcome to Insiders Health TV, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without the quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about a new study that explores homosexuality in rats. Researchers at the University of Toronto have taken a special interest in sexual development, and a new study published in the Journal of Psychological Science aims to learn more about human sexuality through the study of rats. While this may sound pretty far-fetched, rats do share most of our DNA, and really, it's hard to study human sexual development without getting just a little creepy. The study observed a group of 88 rats from the time they were born through the entire two or three years of their life. This makes it possible to track sexual development from birth to death, something that would be extremely difficult in a man or woman. And after the study was finished, the biggest conclusion they came to was that boy rats who have more sisters are less reliable heterosexuals than boy rats who have fewer sisters. We know, claiming someone is a less reliable heterosexual doesn't exactly sound too PC. But what the researchers insist is that from a reproductive angle, boy rats that grow up around girls were significantly less interested in mounting girl rats. The most controversial idea that this brings up is that it isn't hormones or chemicals that make someone gay, but rather psychology. From Don't Ask, Don't Tell to the It Gets Better project, this is a hot button issue right now. For scientists to claim that a dozen male rats with the inability to hump might just mean that gay people are made by their families seems like a giant step back from the nature versus nurture debate. So has the study proven anything? Not really. But maybe it's comforting to some people to know that instead of looking into new treatments or cures, scientists are really just trying to figure out what makes a man gay. We here at IHTV couldn't care less, as long as they're enjoying a healthy lifestyle. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it is your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.